involving parents in classroom work, um, well, it can be regular or it can be a, a one-off kind of involvement. Uh, of course, it depends on the topic, it depends on the teacher, it depends on the age of the children. Uh, as most schools uh, usually suffer from shortage of staff, uh, when it comes to going away somewhere, um, when you, you need some more supporters, some more hands to go uh, with you and to help you, uh, it's quite natural to involve the parents in that. And also, uh, when it comes to like excursions or even summer camps, uh, you can involve those parents who have professional experience in doing that. Because uh, very often the teachers are uh, kind of expected to be tour guides and tour operators um, and also nutrition experts and everything in one. But um, if you know your parents and you know who has a certain type of experience, then it's again involvement for making your life much easier. Um, in many countries when uh, something like this involves money, then the teachers are totally forbidden to t even touch the money. So it's also a form of involvement that the parents are taking care of the budget of a certain uh, school excursion or an outing or going to the theater or something like that. Um, I personally don't like this come and talk about your job type of thing. Uh, I think it was very nice when there were these very easy to explain clear jobs. So there were the firefighters and the machine, uh, the, I don't know, the, um, there is the policeman and uh, the army person and whatever. But today most of the parents will do uh, something that is not that easy to define. Um, and still they are asked in to uh, talk about their job and you're, they are not asked in to talk about their skills, for example. So what kind of skills would the children need if they wanted to take a certain type of approach in their lives or a certain uh, career pathway? So yes, parents still have a role in career guidance, especially because they are guiding their children at home, but if you do that, uh, I would rather do it in a format when the other parents are also there because they, even they may not be aware of other career pathways where they can guide their children. Uh, another example is when there are language barriers, uh, when you can invite in a parent who can help with uh, a child who has a different mother tongue or who uses, uses a different type of language. Um, it is hopefully becoming more and more widespread in, uh, with minority languages and also there are lots of programs for third country nationals. We care much less about our own EU citizens. So Polish or Hungarian children in UK schools. Um, and another very important <clears throat> element, probably the most important, uh, and this is good to put it, there, put it last, um, is that very often uh, when it is a real 21st century type of teaching and you don't teach the textbook or the curriculum but you try to teach the children or um, more guide them in their learning, you will face issues where you don't have the answers. And it's a very difficult thing because in general uh, teachers need to have this change of mindset that they are not the source of information anymore. But when children have questions or there are areas of interest where the teacher doesn't have answers because they are not experienced, they are not specialists, then that's the point when they can invite uh, a parent in and invite them to, to contribute. Uh, in some countries, uh, and I think it's a good development, uh, there are even possibilities for, teacher to, for parents to have a little training, really a little one, uh, probably now, this is the point when some teachers will just go screaming. So parents who are professionals in some areas get a little training in pedagogy. And if there are like five children in a school who are interested in a certain subject, subject, then they invite a parent in and they actually pay the parent as a teacher just to have those five lessons a week for those five children. Because of course you cannot have a teacher for everything. Um, and in most cases, this type of real life experience brought into the school is very beneficial.